Hello, in this video we will be discussing the troubleshooting process with ELISA assays for the common problems that arise. Some of the common problems encountered in ELISA assays may be low or no signal, high background, too much signal, a poor standard curve, and large CV values. Problems with no or low signal can be due to an incubation time that is too short. You may solve this issue by increasing the incubation time or incubating overnight at 4 degrees Celsius. Another possible problem that can lead to a low signal is that the reagents were not thawed properly. Please ensure ELISA reagents thaw for 15 to 25 minutes before the assay. In some cases, a sample may be present below the detection limit. Therefore, you may need to decrease the dilution factor, test your samples neat, or concentrate your samples. Another possible problem leading to low or no signal is the use of incompatible sample types with our kits. Please refer to the manual and ensure you are using a sample type the assay is supported for and known to detect. Moving on to problems with high background. The following scenarios may cause these. Insufficient washing during the washing step. Please confirm wells are washed according to the protocol and if necessary, you may add a washing step. In rare occasions, the wash buffer may be contaminated. In this case, please contact our technical support team for further instructions. High background may also be due to non-specific binding of the antibody. Therefore, you may want to try using a suitable blocking buffer or a different dilution factor to decrease background. Problems with too much signal can be caused by the following. Insufficient washing of the LISA plate. In this case, please use appropriate washing methods and remove residual fluid from the wells. Incorrect dilutions may also lead to high background. Please ensure your pipetter is properly calibrated and increase dilution factor when retesting. The incubation time may be too long. Our kits have optimized protocols specific for each catalog. Please ensure to strictly follow the manual included with your kit and lower incubation time if necessary. If you are getting a poor standard curve, then this may be caused by the standard being improperly reconstituted or prepared. In this case, briefly spin the vial and confirm the standard is thoroughly dissolved. The standards in the kit may be degraded. Please check the expiration date to ensure your kit is not expired. If it is expired, we suggest purchasing a fresh new kit. There may also be pipetting errors leading to a poor standard curve. Please recalibrate your pipette and use proper pipetting techniques for ELISA assays. In some cases, the curve you are using may not fit to scale. Therefore, you may want to try plotting a different scale that matches your ELISA method, such as a four-parameter logistic curve. Large CV values generally considered to be above 20% for our assays may be due to the following. Acquiring bubbles in the wells during the assay. Please ensure no bubbles are present in the wells before reading your plate. Also, wells that are not evenly washed may lead to a high variation between wells. If using a plate washer, please check to confirm it is working properly and pipette tips are not obstructed. Another problem is the incomplete mixing of reagents before running the assay. Please ensure to pipette up and down three times before pipetting contents into the wells. Finally, reagents or samples may not be consistently prepared following the kit protocols. Please avoid multiple freestyle cycles and use consistent sample preparation techniques. If you have any additional questions regarding your ELISA assay or need troubleshooting assistance, please contact our technical support staff using one of the methods below. Please ensure to provide a catalog number with your inquiry to ensure your request is smoothly processed. Thank you for choosing my Biosource.